My son Sam became diabetic when he was very young, an infant. You can imagine taking a little syringe needle and having to inject it into the thigh of your infant. It's, it's not something you'd wish on anybody. My friend Sarah, she burst into tears on the phone. She said, like, something's wrong with me. You know, my legs aren't working. The word ALS was mentioned. Um, I think that just that first time that I heard that was probably the most devastating. I was 48 years old. I had this intense pain, and within a half an hour, I was paralyzed from the uh, shoulders down. It was an occluded spinal artery, which cut off the blood flow. Major diseases have touched all of us, but now stem cell research opens a new window into these devastating conditions, a window that can show us the way toward cures. And leading the way is NYSIF, the New York Stem Cell Foundation. My son Ben was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was 10 years old. When your child is diagnosed with a chronic illness that is life-threatening, as a mom, you will do anything to, to help your child. Susan was motivated by her deep and painful experience of seeing our son be diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, watching her mother die of cancer, and her father die of heart disease. Stem cell research holds out the promise of hope in all of these conditions. And Susan saw NYSIF as an opportunity to put all of these ideas together and use her drive, her energy, to take a field that was in its infancy to make a real difference in making something happen. When I first came to know NYSEF, I didn't know that stem cell research could help cancer. I didn't know that stem cell research um, could recreate bone. I didn't know that stem cell research could help with diabetes. Our mission is to accelerate cures now for everyone. And stem cell research is unique. It's actually the only opportunity that we've ever had to understand, looking at the cells themselves, why people actually get sick. NYSIF has become the epicenter of stem cell research through its collaborations, through its programs, through its messaging. The New York Stem Cell Foundation has played a critical role by having a vision of what stem cell research can do for patients and by providing an atmosphere in which stem cell research is encouraged. They're willing to take risks on ideas for which there's no demonstrable reason that it should work, but if it did, there would be a high reward commonly say high-risk, high-reward research. That is not really what the National Institutes of Health or pharmaceutical companies in general do. But stem cell researchers still face many obstacles in transforming their research into results. It takes, on average, uh, over a dozen years and a billion dollars to take a, a research idea and turn it into something that can treat a patient. In this vast divide, academic research is often considered too risky and costly for pharmaceutical companies and rarely gets translated into actual treatments. As a result, over 95% of promising research never progresses to treatments. What NYSIF does is to basically accelerate the work that's being done in an academic institution and connect it directly to pharmaceutical companies and biotech companies and accelerate the amount of time that it's going to take to actually have something that can help treat a disease or cure a disease. We make sure that that connection, which now is a huge gap, is narrowed and bridged. And that's what we do. It's really a bridge to cures. NYSIF's latest breakthrough made headlines around the world. It provides a major advance toward the development of stem cells that would replace damaged or diseased cells. Researchers say their new approach could lead to tailor-made stem cells. We now know that human eggs do have the ability to turn a specialized cell, a skin cell, into a stem cell. 
and this stem cell can again give rise to brain cells, which is simply amazing. The goal in labs around the world is personalized treatment. Stem cells with your own DNA to tackle anything from Alzheimer's to bone disease to heart failure. While this is still quite some time away and there is much more work to be done until we get there, I see this as a step towards this goal. NICEF's tireless pursuit of cures has produced other exciting breakthroughs. One of the most important advances in stem cell science in the last few years has been supported by NICEF, and that's the work of Kevin Agan and colleagues, where they, for the first time, could show that by using stem cell techniques, they could model a human disease, in this case, what's commonly called Lou Gehrig's disease or ALS. NICEF stepped in, immediately put money to work, and uh, we have what Time Magazine called the breakthrough of the year. None of the work would have been possible without the New York Stem Cell Foundation. I just think that's absolutely clear. Some of the most important stem cell advances are taking place in NICEF's own lab, where scientists are conducting cutting-edge research. Our laboratory is really functioning as a, a non-profit biotech, if you will. Um, we don't have the kind of constraints that you have in a government-funded laboratory or in an academic laboratory. One of NICEF's most revolutionary projects is the development of the Personalized Medicine Bank, an extensive collection of stem cell lines representing the genetic diversity of people across the globe. We will have the ability to take those cells and use them in drug discovery, use them in our understanding of genetic interactions. The tool that we're, we're developing here is unlimited. We want to transform the way the clinical trials are performed. In order to do that, we almost need to do a clinical trial in the laboratory, in the dish, before we take those new drugs into the clinic. The NICEF Personalized Medicine Bank is really trying to create a resource that would allow us to discover how drugs work in a personalized fashion or how diseases work in different parts of the population. Drugs that work for me may not work for you. Drugs that make you sick may not make me sick. We'd have de-risked this process for the pharmaceutical company. This allows us to make clinical trials cheaper and safer and, and proceed more quickly. It will enormously reduce the cost of drug, of drug discovery. The NICEF research community has now grown to more than 90 postdoctoral fellows, investigators, and laboratory researchers, all united in their determination to search for cures. I am using human embryonic stem cells and studying their differentiation into more mature cells and, for example, cardiomyocytes. My goal is a therapeutic for ALS patients. I'm working on fragile X syndrome, which is the most frequent inherited form of mental retardation and it's mostly associated with autism. Our work combines stem cell technology and tissue engineering to try to find treatments for injured or diseased bone tissue replacement therapy for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. More than the financial support, NICEF has really created a network of scientists and it is absolutely invaluable. I'm generating IP cells for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. I'm working on the Personalized Medicine Bank. It's to really look at what the function of neuronal stem cells taken from Alzheimer's disease patients play in the function of uh, networks in the brain. I'd like to be able to see people's lives being changed, whether that be in a small, minute detail to curing diseases. Any aspect of being able to alleviate pain is important. All of the NICEF scientists are interested in trying to find cures for diseases that affect the people that we love. Some of us are even affected by the diseases that we're interested in. It was almost two and a half years ago. It was my 30th birthday. I woke up. My leg didn't wake up with me. I could walk, but I couldn't feel it. There were some lesions in the brain, and then it took about a couple of months to do all the other tests uh, and to finally have the diagnosis that I was uh, a mess. It's kind of strange to work on something that is so personally involved in your life. It's just a way to take control of the disease and really fight against it and say, you know, I'm here and I'm going to destroy you. 
I don't have to wonder whether or not these young scientists are going to be the future stars of uh, the stem cell field because many of them already are. You've got to find something you believe in and then do it. Do what you can. Without the support of NICEF, this simply wouldn't be possible. I support NICEF because it gives me hope that people are working at this very minute on diseases that devastate many lives and many families. I think this is one area where the potential bang for the buck is probably greater than anything else I can think of. Our family supports NICEF both because of the hope for a cure through stem cell research for my granddaughter Meryl, but also for broader societal reasons. There is nobody else doing what NICEF is doing. Private philanthropy is absolutely critical to galvanize uh, a new field and to make sure that we can do the proof of concept and the high risk, high return work that is essential in order to accelerate cures. We believe that NICEF occupies a, a singular role. It is not for profit, therefore it's motivated by a pure desire to um, come up with cures for serious diseases. It offers technical skills that don't exist either in most academic labs or in industry, and it can serve as an absolutely key intermediate and key partner to both academic and industrial labs. Therefore, it offers something that no one else offers. We're succeeding. The work is really hard. We're changing the culture of medical research that it actually is possible that in our lifetime, we're going to be able to cure Alzheimer's disease. We're going to be able to find a cure for Parkinson's disease and for diabetes and hopefully cures for cancer and that this truly is possible. NICEF is transforming medical research. But to continue its efforts, we need your support. So please be as generous as you can and help us build the bridge to cures. It's because we care, we love it, it's what is exciting to us, and we know we can do it.